today's video is all about the keto flu. Um, a lot of you will know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, it's, I'm just going to explain what the keto flu is about, how it works, and how we can potentially avoid it. Um, so first things first, obviously your body is running on a, a glycogen um, energy system, a glucose energy system, and uh, it, we're trying to adapt that to a fat system. So it's been on glucose or on carbs for years and years and years and now we pull away all the carbs uh, and we introduce like a whole heap of fat and your body's confused it's not knowing what's going on uh, it's basically like growth pains for a young young boy um, or for your body it's not sure what's happening to it um, so yeah the big thing or the main uh, things people feel on the keto flu is headaches uh, they get like uh, some people get nausea they get uh, like uh, brain fog they feel fatigue they get all these different sorts of cravings body aches um, and the biggest problem or the biggest thing that causes that is electrolytes so once when we eat a lot of carbs we hold a lot of water which uh, hold electrolytes but once we stop eating carbs and we introduce fat fat obviously doesn't hold the same amount of water as uh, carbs do so we flush a lot of water we drink we, you have to like, drink a lot of water on the keto diet so we flush a lot of water and through flush, flushing a lot of water we flush uh, a lot of ele electrolytes the main ones are sodium magnesium and potassium um, as you guys know and there's ways where we can get our sodium magnesium and potassium counts up so that our body runs smoothly uh, so we try and avoid the headaches the the cravings and all the things that come with the keto flu so sodium is one of the big ones um, sodium is basically salt so we can salt our food we can have salty snacks uh, a big tip or that i that i've been doing um, on keto is just taking some chicken broth adding it in a cup and heating it up it's like a it's like chicken noodles without the noodles um, and it's it's got a lot of uh, sodium in which uh, gets your sodium count up nicely next we have potassium uh, we can get potassium there's a lot of potassium in avos uh, luckily avos is a staple food on the keto diet um, as i have it every single day and uh, we get a lot of potassium through that also get potassium in leafy greens like spinach and uh, the green vegetables so that's how we get our potassium in and then magnesium we just take in a tablet form um, we supplement magnesium through pills uh, you need about four to five hundred milligrams of magnesium a day and you can just uh, yeah take that through uh, supplementation next up is uh, we have to make sure that we hit our ratios so ratios is 75 to 80 percent fat uh, 15 to 20 percent protein and under five percent carbs uh, the more fat, fat the better people are scared of the fat and uh, what I've learned on my keto journey is the more fat I have the better it is for my body the better I feel protein we have to be careful uh, if we eat too much protein if we go over 20 percent the excess protein gets turned into glucose and it kicks us out of ketosis and you're back to square one feeling not feeling great um, carbs uh, yeah obviously uh, keto is uh, starving your body from carbs that's why your liver starts producing ketones and uh, we try and keep our carbs under 30 grams a day net carbs or under five percent carbs of your total diet um, so if you yeah if you hit your your ratios and you supplement your potassium magnesium and sodium hopefully you can avoid the the keto flu because the keto flu has stopped a lot of people from reaching ketosis uh, just because they feel that uh, they feel yeah they don't feel great and uh, they think that's how they're going to feel on the diet and unfortunately it stops them from reaching the main goal where you feel unbelievable or where you feel superhuman um, so I hope you guys learned something from this video as I always say uh, if you did please give it a thumbs up um, please like the, like it please comment uh, what you guys would want to see in future videos like uh, keto fat bombs or whatever you would want to see um, and then please subscribe to my youtube channel 
so you don't miss up on any future videos that uh, I do make. Hit the bell as well so you get notified whenever I post a YouTube video. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys. Baby, lay me down on the bed of roses, stick me in the rain.